Joining me right now, great pleasure to welcome a man who has uh, put out a, a really a book that's going to help a lot of people, I think. It's called Knock Em Dead, The Ultimate Job Search Guide for 2010. We're joined by the New York Times bestselling author, uh, Martin Yates, today from up in uh, Georgia. Martin, thanks for being with us. How are you? Uh, good to be with you. Doing great, Doug. Good to have a chance to uh, talk to you. First of all, congratulations on the success of these Knock Em Dead books. Uh, they're pretty successful for it over the years, hasn't it? Uh, yes, uh, they've been around for 25 years. I think we're in 62 foreign languages. <laughs> so, al although they were written, they're all written in and for America, they have a practicality which allows them to work for people all over the world. Well, I guess no better time than uh, this year, maybe starting with last year, people uh, looking for work, some by choice, some a lot by not choice, unfortunately. And uh, you give some great tips in the book. Uh, in your experience, Martin, dealing with people that are looking for work, have you ever seen a situation like we've had the last couple of years? No, I've, I've been in, in this business since 1973 before I had wrinkles and two chins. Um, <laughs> I've been through uh, uh, seven of these recessions, and this one is different. Uh, whenever there's a recession, Doug, uh, especially since 1980 when they first started putting com uh, computers on people's desks, uh, businesses always tried to use the recessions as a time to increase the use of technology in business. Uh, this is much more of a restructuring this time than before. I think there's a, a complete restructuring of the way we do business in the world that's going on at the moment. Is it, is it a technological, technological uh, restructuring, Martin? Uh, I mean, jobs are changing, obviously. We've seen that in the media. I mean, my business alone, radio, television, that's totally changed from what it was even five years ago. Radio, television, publishing, music, every business is changing in the, in the way they, uh, they do business and execute business. Uh, and, and this is affecting jobs. Now, it, 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 was, it was very bad last year. Um, and uh, who knows if it's going to be better this year. If I knew the answer, Doug, I'd own the vote tonight. That's right. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, still, absolutely. I would still talk to little people once in a while, but certainly not. I'd be on the beach this afternoon. Um, but what, what I can say about this time of year, we are a huge economy. And people were getting hired last year. The people who were getting hired were the people who educated themselves and worked hard and smart. Now, we're at the beginning of the year, and for the listeners who, who were unemployed last year and for looking for a job, let's say certain things. No one taught you about job search and career management at school. No one taught you at university. You stumbled into jobs along the way. Whatever you did learn doesn't apply anymore because the way companies recruit and hire has changed completely. You're somewhere in the middle of a 50-year work life. Statistically, you're going to change jobs about every four years. You're going to have three or more distinct careers, and there's going to be an economic downturn about every seven to ten years, which will affect employment. Doesn't it make sense to have a New Year's resolution that says, this year, starting today, I'm going to learn about career management and job search so that I can get a better grip on my professional future. I'm with Martin Yates. The name of the book is uh, Knock Em Dead, the ultimate job search guide for uh, 2010. Let's, let's uh, go over quickly some of the, the basics and maybe a, a, a line or two or a minute or two uh, on, on uh, these things. Let's start with the uh, uh, resumes. That's very misunderstood. I think people have their own, everybody has their own way, I think, of doing it, but uh, there is a right way and there is a wrong way, isn't there? And most of the way people are doing it is the wrong way. You know, we, we, we tend to just add our current job to the resume when we need another one. So our resumes look like patchwork quilts. And in building the resumes, we try and do a fairly honest recitation of all the things we've done. And so they end up also looking, to my metaphors, like a Swiss army knife. No one wants to hire a Swiss army knife. People, you know, when, when someone's added to the payroll, it's argued over why should we add someone to the payroll, what's the job title, what are the responsibilities, what's the pay. It's argued about, it's codified, it's budgeted, and eventually those funds are released. And once the funds are released, then the company and their recruiters start to look for people. So no one ever reads a resume. No one ever gets up in the morning in Sarasota and says, it's a lovely day in Sarasota, I'm going to read resumes today. Whenever anyone looks at a resume or goes into a database to look for resumes, and that's where most of our resumes end up today, they go with a specific job in mind, a specific job title, and a bunch of words that describe the responsibilities and deliverables of that job. So what I do in the, in the, in the very beginning, in, I think it's the second chapter of, of uh, Not and Dead, is I talk about how we go about getting an understanding of 
what employers prioritize and value when they hire people like us and how they word those needs. And I show readers how to create a template for themselves for this job they're going after. It's not the way they see it, but the way employers see it. And if we can create this template, we now know the story our resume needs to tell. And we've got to recognize, because our resumes are now sent electronically, they don't end up on Doug Miles' desk. They end up in a database, and in that database there may be 30 million other resumes. And when these databases are searched, it's just like a Google search. Right. We, we put in a job title, we put in a bunch of words that we apply, and then the search engine looks for every, for every one of those 35 million resumes and lists any of them that have any of these words and then weights them so the resume with most of these words repeated most often comes over the top. Here's the kicker. I've been in this business since 1973. I know and am known by headhunters all over the world. I have yet to meet a headhunter who has ever looked at more than top 20 resumes in a database search. So we have to change the way we build our resumes to get them pulled up in the top 20 so they even get on Doug's desk. I want to ask before we wrap up, Martin, uh, social networking, I think that's kind of related to what you talked about with technology and resumes going to databases. Uh, that has really kind of changed the way people look for work. Can you explain maybe in a minute or so how that works? Yes. Yeah, we, we've all, we all know the term networking, and, and that's annoying the heck out of the 30 people you know from your jobs until they won't take your calls anymore <laughs> when you're calling them asking for a job lead. Now, the great thing about social networking, it, it's online. You can sign up for these networks, look for people you've worked with. It allows you to put all the people you want to be in contact with in one place. You can communicate with them effectively. Um, employers love getting personal referrals from people they know. They sit more likely to hire these folks because they think they get up to speed quicker and stay with the company longer. Also, personal referrals are cheaper to hire because there's no fees attached to it in any way. And so it's important that we look into networking, but networking isn't just one thing we do. As I talk about in the first half of the book, which is all about finding jobs and getting interviews, we need to integrate networking into every other job search activity that we do. And I would say something for any of your listeners who went through high school and college in the Facebook years. You probably got some photographs on there of glorious times at college, but those photographs of you projectile vomiting at a beer fest ain't going to work anymore. I just come from a major, major educational and corporate conference, and uh, they were saying that now about 35% of employers pre-screen candidates by checking for them on the social networks, and they will decline to interview or to hire someone who they feel does not portray the kind of image the company requires. So for young people, the phrase is digital dirt. If you've got any, you've got to go in there and clean it up. And if you've got kids that fit into this criteria, you want to remind them of this. It can cost you an interview. It can cost you a job. Mm, good point. A lot, of, a lot of stuff out there people think is uh, harmless fun, and uh, 10, 15 years later, can back and bite you. So you, you got to yeah, watch what, what, Yeah, what's, what's fun when you're 20 is not so funny when you're 30. No, no. <laughs> 25. <laughs> Well, Martin, I wanted to give you a chance to give out the website. I know for people that get this book, Knock Them Dead, you're offering uh, something special to an edition, aren't you? If you go to the website, you want to give that out? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the book is Knock Them Dead, The Ultimate Job Search Guide. It's a brand new ten, 2010 edition or 2010 edition. Uh, it's available everywhere. And if you come to the website, we're having a sweepstakes this year. Uh, and if you uh, sign up with your email address, at the end of every month, uh, we have a little electronic gizmo that pulls out one of these addresses and uh, whoever gets pulled out gets an hour's coaching with me on the topics of their choice. Now, what is this? Well, I've had a, a coaching program for 19 years now and if you had an hour with me personally, it would cost you 300 bucks. So it's quite a deal for 12 people this year. That's great. Knockemdead.com uh, is the website, and uh, Knock Dead, the ultimate job search guide for 2010 is the uh, name of the book. We'll be talking with uh, Martin Yates. Martin, uh, always great to talk to people that are inspiring, and I feel inspired myself right now. Thanks for being with us today. Good luck, Doug, and to everyone listening, nothing but pleasant surprises this year. And America is built on the pursuit of happiness, but as Benjamin Franklin said, it's not guaranteed. You've got to go out and make it for yourself. Good luck, everyone.